fabulous fam. My name is Leslie Ann Polk, and I'm here to encourage you to stay healthy in spirit, soul, and body. Now, right before I get into this video, I wanna ask you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. That'll make you a part of my channel, and it'll make us kind of like friends online. Also click the bell and it'll give you notifications anytime I share a new video here on YouTube. So please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get right into this video. Today I wanted to just share with you guys my sister lock wash day routine. I haven't made a lot of sister lock videos and the reason for that is that I got my hair locked in February, February of 2020. One month later, the whole world started shutting down because we're living in a pandemic right now. So. I was afraid to start this channel because I didn't even know when I would be able to see my loctician again. I didn't know if I would have to start my sister locks over again, but we saw that the world began to open back up and little by little, we're allowed to go to appointments as long as we're trying to be as safe as possible. So I've been growing out my sister locks since February and I do wash my hair every three weeks. And I know that's a bit of a stretch. I am in a sister lock community on Facebook and you know, some women wash their hair once a week. Some women wash their hair every two weeks. I've even heard some say they wait every six weeks until they're seen by their loctician. So it's really between you and your loctician and it depends on your hair type. I have 4C hair, it's very tight. The curls are very tight and they really snap back when my hair is wet, which is why I have to really band and braid and I have to actually do that while I work out. Well, at least I did in the summer. And maybe as it continues to lock, I won't have to do it as much, but just because my curl pattern is so tight, I'm really careful. And I'm still most definitely bending and braiding while I'm washing my hair. So this is three weeks after my last retie. When I go back to see her again in three weeks, she will actually wash my hair for me. So my hair gets washed every three weeks. And in between, I do have another way that I make sure that my scalp stays clean. Okay, the other way that I keep my scalp clean in between the different washings that I do is my sister lock technician told me to get Seabreeze. So hopefully you can see that the lighting in here isn't the best lighting I've ever had in my life um, because I'm about to wash my hair and I'm in my bedroom. So I'm, I just set up in here. But Seabreeze is something that I use in between washes along with just some cotton balls. And what you do is you actually section your hair off and take the sea breeze, put it onto the cotton ball and just begin to clean your scalp. If you've been working out a lot or different things like that, sometimes you'll actually see a little bit of buildup. Um, you'll see a little bit of, you know, dark coloration from, you know, the oils in your hair and different things like that from you working out. So that is another way to help maintain your scalp staying clean in between the washings that you do. I hear a lot of women in the group talking about how their scalp itches. I don't deal with that with my hair. Um, I don't know, I don't know why. That's just not something that I've ever dealt with. But um, that is one way to help you in between washing your hair when you have sister locks. And so since it is wash day, I am going to braid my hair all over and I'm actually going to band it too. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I use these little bands here. Um, they come in different colors. I usually use, you know, just little black ones or whatever. And I actually uh, band and braid my hair before I go see my loctician just to cut time so we can go straight to the shampoo bowl. She washes my hair and then she gets right into my retie. So I'll actually do that before I go and see her and kind of wrap my hair up when I go outside. And then once I get to her, we just head straight to the bowl. So I will, I'm gonna go ahead and put some braids in my hair and band it. And I'll be back to show you what it looks like you know it looks a little crazy, but hey, that's what we do. We do what we have to do at the beginning while we're waiting for our hair to lock. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I took my scarf off my head, and now we're gonna just, you know what it's like underneath the bonnet. And we're just gonna put rubber bands around. I did some of them just to cut time. We're just gonna put rubber bands, and I do loop under the end of my lock, just just to give it a tuck under type of appeal to where it won't unravel in the water. Like I said, my hair is very tight. It naturally likes to snap back to a very tight Afro state and you have to basically train it to be elongated. So when it's wet, this is what you do. But um, I don't take very tiny sections and I also leave the braids a little bit loose at the roots so that when I get in the shower and wash my hair, I can kind of get my fingers in there and actually get to my scalp and clean it really well. 
So you don't want all these little tight braids everywhere where you can't actually clean your scalp. So I'm just gonna take these little bitty rubber bands and do this all over. And the back is pretty much done now, but I have pretty big sections, you can see it. And I am going to just band and braid. Um, you might see some girls who are really neat with it and you know, who have it down to, you know, like this beautiful precision. But according to my loctician, this part doesn't have to be that cute. So I just kind of go through, do loose braids again at the root so that I can stick my finger in there in the shower and wash. So I'm gonna go around my whole head and show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, so now I'm back with my entire head braided and banded. I have the little tiny rubber bands at the end of my hair. It's looped under just to secure my hair so that it won't come out of the, um, the tie when it's soaking wet. I'm going to get in the shower. Now I see some people have videos out there where they actually somehow prop the camera up and get in the shower. I'm not doing all that, <laughs> okay? I'm going to get in the shower, wash my hair. I've left it really loose at the roots. I'm gonna get in there and massage my scalp. And what I'm using is Sister Lock shampoo. Some people complain about the Sister Lock shampoo. I don't have the actual bottle here with me, but what I use is just my spray bottle that I keep in my shower and I dilute the Sister Lock shampoo with water. So this is like half water, half Sister Lock shampoo. And I'm just gonna spray it and I'm gonna put a lot of focus on my scalp, making sure that it's really clean. I do clean my locks also. The water is gonna go through and pour through my locks and I'm gonna get it super clean. I'm, a, I'm gonna be in there as long as I need to until I feel like my scalp and my locks are completely clean. So I'm gonna take this in there with me and I'm gonna also take, um, I have a t-shirt sort of, you know, um, hair towel that I put on after I get out the shower. So I will come back to you once I'm done and I'll see you shortly. Okay, I am back. As you can see, I am drenched. Um, I did that just so you guys could see that I went all the way through and I just really massaged my scalp and I'm just so nice to my hair. I wanted to just talk about that a little bit. When my hair was a loose natural, it would be so frustrating sometimes that I would be a little bit rough with my hair and pull at it and I've taken on a different attitude with my hair. I'm like so nice to my hair. So I massage my hair. I have my husband massage my hair. I'm just really nice to my hair. It makes me happy. So I make my hair happy. <laughs> so I'm, I'm drenched, I'm soaking wet. And so like I stated before, I have like a t-shirt towel, towel that I ordered from Amazon. And so what I'm gonna do is just put this on my head and dry it. This, this is a great way to dry your hair um, so that you won't get the fuzzies from the regular dry towel that you use after you shower. So I do so many things to protect my hair from getting lint in it. So if I'm gonna lay down somewhere, I'm gonna always have a bonnet on or I'm going to lay down on a satin cap, but I'm always protecting my hair from lint. So I won't necessarily just wear any hoodie if it's not the right, type of fabric, if it's something that will cause a lot of lint to be in my hair, I won't buy it and I won't wear it. So I'm just going to put this on. It actually has like a little tie on it. So you could kind of, you know, look a little sexy, you know, while you walk around the house. I'll, I'll just leave this on for a while, um, while it soaks up some of the water. And then after that, I am going to allow my hair to just dry for maybe an hour or so. I might even run the blow dryer through my hair, like if I need to go somewhere in a hurry. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and do some laundry. I'm going to do some cleaning, do some reading and some planning for some future videos and different things like that. And then I'm gonna come back to you when it's time to take the bands out of my hair. All the little bands that I put at the end of my hair are actually still in there right now. So I'm gonna come back a little bit later. We're gonna take those out and then we're gonna be good to go for another three weeks. So I'll see you back in a little while. Okay, everybody, I am back now. My hair is pretty much dry. It might be a little bit of dampness to it, but nothing that I'm really too worried about. Um, I'm going up on, let's see, January will be 11 months locked. So I do have some locking happening here, even though my hair isn't fully locked and it is still a little bit curly and loose on the ends, but it's doing what it's supposed to do according to my loctician. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out.
So I'm kind of gentle to undo the band that I put on there. So you can see that. I actually have like a little baggie to just keep my bands in. So anytime wash day comes around, I can just put them all in here. So I'll do that. I'm just gonna take these out all around my head. And then once all the bands are out, I'll start unbraiding my hair. Okay guys, so all of the bands are out of my hair. Like I said, it's a little bit damp, but nothing that I'm really worried about. And so now I'm just gonna start taking these out and um, we are going to be done. Now my hair has those curly ends still and honestly, I hope it holds some type of a curl as it continues to lock and grow out. I love curls and I have a lot of fun with the curls in my hair and I hope it you know, stays that way. If it doesn't, I can always do braid outs to kind of accomplish that look as my hair continues to grow and lock. So we're just gonna unbraid here and then we're gonna wrap this up. I thank you guys for just joining me and following me on my journey. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Leslie Ann Polk. All my sister lock sisters and workout buddies, you follow me there, I will follow you back. I try not to put too many little braids in my hair. I try to make them a little bit bigger just to make this process easier. But my hair is so thick that if I don't space them out a little bit, they will unravel. So. I make, a, make them a little bit smaller in the back just so it, it, it can stay tight enough to stay braided at the ends. So there you have it. My hair feels so clean. I have no complaints about the Sister Lock shampoo, none. I know some people complain about some type of a white buildup that you get, but I dilute mine with water. Like I said, I do half water in that in that little spray bottle and have sister lock shampoo and then i'm very loose with my braids i spray the shampoo on my scalp first massage it and then i get it all over my hair and i wash it through several times while i'm in the shower three to four times just until it feels super clean and then you saw all the other steps if you guys have any other questions feel free to just drop questions you know on this video I'll be back with more sister lock videos. Go ahead and leave me a note below and just let me know what type of sister lock questions you have or what type of videos you'll like to see. But this hairstyle is so easy. Uh, I only wash my hair once every three weeks. So this is the most work you'll see me doing in my hair in a six week period. I really don't manipulate my hair yet because it's still growing and locking. And I just, I dealt with slippage a lot in the beginning. So I pretty much wear my hair like this for the most part. Every now and then I might rock a puff. I might like throw a wrap on and have it braided underneath and protected. But this is pretty much my style. So as it grows and locks, I'll probably get more creative with it. I do like updo, so maybe I'll get more creative then. But right now I'm just having a lot of fun with the curliness of it and the volume of it. And I'll tell you what, I have no regrets and I don't think you will either, but I think you've seen enough of my hair today. So I'm gonna get out of here, but I'm looking forward to chatting with you guys again soon. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so we can stay connected here. And I will be back with you guys again next week. Until then, stay fabulous.